So in the previous video, we had a look at the Marantz PMD602A mic preamp, but we neglected to open the unit up and have a look inside. So I figured we'd do that now. So I'll just take those four rubber feet off, give us access to the screws. aluminium box. Okay, so that's interesting construction there. We've got uh, this uh, ribbon cable between the front panel board and the main board. Uh, and a liberal amount of Holtz knot on one end. Um, we'll try and uh, get the camera in close on those chips and see if we can identify some of those. Okay, so that's interesting. So you can actually get the whole unit out of the box um, without really dismantling it at all. So that's kind of interesting. So let's just see if there's anything. Okay, so nothing component-wise on the back of that board at all, which is good. Um, okay, so that holds on with a little connector there. There we go. Okay. That's neat. And haven't managed to tease that off yet, but I'm just being a bit gentle with it. Okay. Pretty much the whole audio chain is done with 4580 dual op amps. Three of them. That's pretty much all she wrote in terms of that. So I assume we've got one acting as the uh, mic preamp for each channel and another one driving the headphone output, which I think is reasonable. I think the 4580 has reasonable current delivery capabilities. So that seems okay from the point of view of driving headphones, I believe. Um, Okay, so a lot of power supply stuff here. Um, a transistor, and there's a inductor here. It's got to be something to do with the uh, the switching, because um, obviously we've got to uh, be uh, generating our 48 volts, um, and indeed even just the power rails for the um, op amp circuitry um, must be generated from some sort of boost converter because the thing runs off six volts worth of uh, batteries, but somehow can swing nearly six volts RMS um, at the output, which uh, wouldn't be possible without some sort of boost converter. Anyway, that's kind of interesting. I was half expecting some sort of specialized um, chip for doing the uh, mic preamp, you know, one of these uh, instrumentation amplifier type chips, uh, I know 217, uh, SSM 2019 or that 1510, but uh, no, no, it's uh, it's all been done with op amps, I see. So there's not a lot else to see active component wise on here. Um, we have a 7812 voltage regulator, but that's about it. Let's have a little look at the front panel board. I'll just see if I can slide that into place. If we can see that. I'll focus that up. There's not really anything worth speaking of on the back. If we have a look uh, down the side there. So apart from the metering, I don't believe there's a lot of active circuitry on this board. Um, basically it's just a convenience thing to uh, keep the uh, the two boards separate. Not sure I like the idea of the uh, the gain pots being quite so separated from the uh, the rest of the preamp circuit and uh, having this uh, long ribbon cable in between the two but 
I'm sure that works fine. So that's a brief look inside the Marantz PMD602A mic preamp. I think I really feel like tearing that down any further than that. Um, call me a coward if you like. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Now I've just got to put it all back together again. <laughs>